What's up, everybody? Provis here with another episode of Magic Duels Battle for Zendikar. Uh, first thing is first, we are opening some boosters because we need to see... Uh... Alright, we're opening three boosters. Two boosters now, one booster later because they don't give us an option to open boosters like normal human beings. <clears throat> That's a shit card. Uh, these are all poop. This is all poo-poo. I don't want any of it. Bye-bye. Next booster. Let's go. <laughs> I, don't, I don't want it. I don't want it. Uh, that, that saved me once. Uh, no. No. Oh, Gnarlid. Finally. Oh, God. About time. All right. Hang on. Hang on. Before we open that last booster, I, got, I, got, I just... You, you're going to hate me for this. I'm sorry for wasting your time. I just got to check how many snapping Gnarlids I have. Come on. Uh... One more! Oh, I can almost finish everything! My 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 landfall deck. <clears throat> Let's make it happen, guys. Not today. Not today. Today we're we're gonna keep going with the uh, the last deck that I was doing, the uh, black red blue. I don't know what it was, but we're gonna do that. <laughs> we're gonna... Hey, check it out, adverse conditions. Good, that that can go in there. Uh I uh... Do I like you? You know what? I kind of do like you. God damn it. Alright. Uh, return to store. Let's get out of here. Did them all. Alright, 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 alright. We're gonna add this guy right now. We're gonna add him. He's coming in. Bro. Bro, where you at, son? Uh, son? Son? Where you, you you know what I like you in there too, and I really really like. I just saw you. There you are. Adverse conditions. Okay. Do I want another one of these? Whoops! I forgot to. uh <laughs> do that one of that thing. So you do that you do because you gotta do when you do it right, but then you don't do it right, and then that's what happens. Uh, how come I'm not running an oblivion sower? Oh, wait, no, because I don't want... I don't want to run that. I want to run this. Okay, we got too many cards now. So, let's see. What can we... What can we dump? Got a lot of three drops. Maybe too many three drops. That's a four drop. No, I like all these. I don't have... Do I really have too many three drops? I really do. <laughs> Weird, man. I really do. What do I get rid of? I like all of these. God damn it. All of these. Hell, I want more of these. I can dump a couple of these. Just one. I don't want to. I don't want to hit too many. Uh, I'm actually not a big fan of this one. Too much. Too much. Let's do one. Just do one. And uh, six is six six vidge. Let's keep that going. And I will dumples. Fine. Clutch of Currents. Gotta go. Sorry, buddy. Okay. Let's do a few games of this. <clears throat> Sorry for wasting your time, guys. I, I know I'm horrible at everything. And that's not new anymore. At this point, it's just expected. But I'm okay with that. Because if you're not okay with that, that's okay, too. <laughs> that's not okay. You let me know, and I'll try to fix it. Uh, I, I live for other people's pleasure. Other people's pleasure. And my stupid cat, who has been bothering me. Like, every time I sit down, he just sees me. He looks up there with his stupid little face. And he's like, hey, you, you, you mind if I sit on your lap? And I'm like, yeah, I do. I'd really rather you didn't do that, because you got fucking daggers on your fingers. And it really hurts. Um, this can work for me. This can work for me. Don't go first. Hate not going first, but this can work. <clears throat> maybe we can, maybe, maybe someday we can find like what's wrong with us. So it'll be Tide Drifter into possibly Touch of the Void, probably not. Uh, but then into Whirl of Rogue. We're not entirely on. Do I want to Touch of the Void that? Not really. I mean, Scry is kind of good, but I don't really. Here. Uh, blah, 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 blah. 
I really don't care that much. I don't know. Turn three. I mean, I could, but I don't want to. <laughs> it just seems like a dumb play. I'd rather I'd rather Whirler Rogue and then Deathless Behemoth. Not that that's like something I can do in lieu of. Oh shit! Thopters are real. Thopters is the real deals. Uh, you know what? I will touch of the void. Uh, that one three that gives all his artifacts haste because if we're up against Thopters. That haste will be relevant. <clears throat> and I'm gonna do something about that, boy. I'm gonna do something about that. So that'll probably be my turn three. Really wish this was an instant speed, but I guess since it gets exiled, it can't be. It needs to have some kind of concession. All right, come on, bro. Let's go, 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 let's go. Uh-oh, five drop two. Snap, son. Snap, son. What are you gonna do about that? Who cares? What, you're gonna scry now? Like, fine. Whatever. Why are you gonna do it, like, in the middle of my cool stuff resolving? You're just putting in your dumb stuff. So get your dumb stuff out of my cool stuff, and let's get this show on the road, girl. girl I say girl, but I really don't even know. Like, what are you? D1. Well, uh, I guess that's a guy's name. <laughs> so, so sorry, bro. <laughs> I mean, I mean that could be the most guy name ever, or just dumb. Dumb one? Oh, does D stand for dumb instead of dick? Because I totally thought it st stood for dick. D1, you know, 1D. That's just like a typical human. <laughs> just one. <laughs> Whatever. Big deal. Alright, this guy's really into, like, scrying, cantripping, and rearranging his library, which is actually really bad for me, especially long term. But I do have a pretty good late game. I'm not too upset about it. <clears throat> we got a Whirler Rogue. We got one more land. We got a Blink a Blight Herder. Uh, how many of these do I have? Put two of their cards from Exile. Shit, they only have one. Do I have any other way to Exile one of their cards? Not really. Poopsie Pops. Poopsie Pops. Maybe I shouldn't have this many Blight Herders. Maybe I have too much top end. What do you think? Do I have too much top end, you guys? I don't know. I do know that my thopters are better than your thopters for now. What? You want to bounce it? Oh, God, I hate it when you do that. It bothers me so much. Ugh, just wait till the end of my turn. So much better that way. I should swing with my O5 just to piss him off. No, kitty, go away. No, I don't. No, come on. Come on, get out of here. Jesus. Ugh. I don't know why he wants so much attention. It's pissing me off, you guys. I don't know what to do about it. Cry, probably. That's probably what I will do about it. Uh, right after I get done crying uh, over that the fact that this guy is not playing cards with me. <sighs> why aren't you playing cards with me? There we go. You figured it out. Okay, cool. This guy loves those things. He hates, like, waiting for cards. Um, I think a Thopter deck should be a little bit more aggressive than he's putting it out to be. I feel like he's got a lot... Maybe he just had a bad hand. What did he do so far? Uh, he did that, that, and this. Like, I can see a lot of Thopter decks running this. This is decent in the Thopter deck. I run it. This... Meh, not so much. I mean, what, for a wall? A two-drop? It sort of scries. I mean, it's not, like, the worst card in the world, but I feel like that would be... Like, there are other cards that would be much better. Like a Twin Bolt or something, you know? Like, I don't know, control cards of some sort. Hey! Stop it! Oh my god, I'm gonna lock that cat in a room, you guys. I'm gonna lock that damn cat in a room. Okay, uh, since I can't exile a couple of his cards, I am thinking about, um... Uh, doing Clutch Occurrence on one of his garbage cards. What would I like to Clutch Occurrence? Or do I just want to put down a 4 or 5? I mean, I could just want to... Th I mean, this gets me a 3-3 three, three next turn. This gets me... Oh, jeez. Wait. Was I able to Clutch and with the... Oh, my God. I'm dumb. You guys, I'm a dumbass. I'm just... There's no way around it. All right, let's start. Uh, wait, wait a minute. You're not going in there. You're not.
You're not doing that, buddy. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what you want to do, but you're not doing it. <clears throat> um, since I'm not sure if I put a land down or not, uh, I, I'm going to wait till my second main phase before I decide what to do. He is watching damage effects. I did put a land down. Okay, so next turn, I could Deathless Behemoth, which I think I'd rather do. Maybe I want him to just recast something. What about that? And then I'll put Deathless Behemoth down too. Next turn. Fuck it. Let's do it. Let's just do it. Um, recast that. Make that into a real land. Alright. Fine. Yeah, I know. Dear Scry, whatever. Fine. GG, bro. Do it. I could have done it to a stop or two to completely get rid of it, but <clears throat> I want him to, to not have scary things for me next turn. I want him to have, like, less shit so that my... Oh, it's a 3-4, actually. <laughs> I, I was even considering it to be a 3-3, three, three, but still. Um, I, I don't care about his Thopter. I feel like my Thopters can take out his Thopters, so the best that Thopter is going to do is, like, a chump block of something that I don't give a shit about. And I want it, since he's like low on mana, I wanted to use up that mana. So if he has a land, uh, that's still a third of his of his of his lands, which, you know, pleases me. Is it more than a third? I don't know, it's about a third, right? Ish. Ish. Uh oh. Well see, now that sort of works for me. Uh he can get a card out of this though, which kinda sucks. For me. But that's okay. Uh, if I did destroy that token, he would not have gotten a card, but he would have had the 2-2. And see, he can't actually cast the 2-2, so he has less blockers this turn. Uh, although he can hit, he can crack that Alchemist Vial to probably stop my 3-4, I'm going to guess. Yeah, I would guess my 3-4. He's probably not going to be able to attack. So I'll, his 0-3 will block my 2-2, and then I'll deal 2 damage to him. So it's not the best. Not the best. <clears throat> if I can kill that token, I'd be very happy to. Uh, actually, that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to kill that token now. Faux show. Faux show. Let's do it. We're going to destroy you now. Eh, screw it. Actually, hell yeah. You get him. That's right. That's right. <laughs> that is correct. And we're swinging in hot. Ba boom! Even with the 05. Screw it! Fuck the world. <laughs> oh, right, he still has the Alchemist file. You know, I was in my head he was gonna pop it. But now that that's his only um, artifact, I guess he doesn't want to pop it. Well, whatever, fine. That's fine too. I should not have attacked with the 05. Uh, technically speaking, I don't think I give a shit. You know, you can block that 6-7 and use the scry if you don't want to take 7. Okay. Actually, you're taking 8. Alright, well, that's, that's that's how you play, man. I mean, if you want to do it that way, you can go right ahead. I just have a 6-7 there. I mean, you can... I don't know if I agree with that play. <clears throat> I don't really like this guy's deck. Uh, I, that's not entirely true. I do like the Thopter's deck. I just don't... He hasn't really done anything. He's been setting up, and it's like turn, what, 5, 6, 7 or something like that right now? And he's still setting up? Like, bro, you are... You are way over the point at which you should be stabilized. Way over. Alright. More lands. There you go. There's your lord. Now your Thopter is just as good as my Thopter's. Sort of. A little bit better, actually. A little bit. Just a little. Just a little bit. Oh. Maybe I should have saved the clutch, but I really like just jumping in there. Man, Clutch Occurrence is awesome. One of my favorite cards. Bow Show. If I get uh, tap them, put a 1-1 put a one -one out. What the hell is it called? Adverse Conditions? I'd be pretty thrilled. I'd be pretty thrilled. He's looking at some serious problems right now. <laughs> Um, yeah, he's looking at some serious problems. Uh, I don't have enough to make Blight Herder awesome, but I don't think I care at this point. I think I just want to slam, slam him down. Uh, well, I mean, now it's just, yeah. 
This is ridiculous. Okay, obviously not. So, Alright, well, what are you gonna do? What the hell? Oh, now you're gonna pop the alchemist file. I gotcha. <laughs> no, I get it. I get it now. Uh, let's see. Is it profitable to swing in at all? Not, not really. Not really. So let's just dump Deathless Behemoth. If he swings in with that 2-2 flyer Thopter, I'm not going to do anything about it. I'm going to leave my Thopters alive so I can use Whirler Rogue's ability to make either my 6... Or one of my 6-7s unblockable. And then they're getting in there. I mean, you, you would think that this guy had more to do since he was fixing that library of his pretty much since the start of the game. Like, he's been using that. I, I think he used that every turn he had he could, right? He's been scrying. He had uh, Telling Time. He had the Alchemist Vile Cantrip for him. He had some other shit getting, getting cards for him. Yeah, yeah, even uh, the Spy Network got him cards and shit. Like, there is no excuse at this point, man. If your deck doesn't have an answer for this board at this stage, this is your own fault. This is not even bad beats, man. You have been digging and digging. So what the hell? Where, what, what do you have to show for it? Because I'm smashing in with a 6-7 unblockable next turn. Yeah, but it's going to be unblockable, so I don't care how many of these things you got. I'm really glad I took out that haster. That, that makes me happy, because these guys with haste, he'd be smashing in right now for a bit of damage. And I'd be at mm, a, a little more of a dilemma, honestly. Yeah, I don't, I don't give a shit. <clears throat> two damage, fine. You get a card, fine. Whatever. I need those two guys so I can... I mean, I can kill it if I double block, but I'm not going to. I want, I want to use both of them to make somebody unblockable. That's, like, the best part of Whirler Rogue. I mean, Whirler Rogue is just fucking great, man. One of the best cards ever is... Ah, shit. That sucks. That sucks. Uh, not that much, because he can only use it to stop one of those guys. Yeah, that's right, actually. He can only use it to stop one of those guys. And he has to do it pre-combat. And Whirler Rogue's ability is instant speed, so I'm actually not too upset about it. <sighs> and he totally missed it. He <laughs> totally missed the ability. So... Do I just swing with both? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. But I'd be wiping out three of his creatures, which I'm totally cool with. And let's use that ability. On, uh, I guess. Let's do this one. Because I don't want him to kill that one. Because I want it to block. Because it has vigilance. And it can block. I mean, he, he could block it with his... Uh, um, ah, oh, what the fuck do you call it? The mirror, the perilous mirror, and take out, I guess, my Whirler Rogue, which wouldn't be great for me. But I'm taking out a bit of his shit here. He needs to hit me with two more creatures. One more. Uh, that's not enough to kill me. That is not enough to kill me, bro. Why did you block like that? Unless you hit me with the uh, Perilous Mirror. But then my Whirler Rogue will be fine and you're dead next turn. So... <laughs> what? What the, what the hell, dude? Okay. Okay. Uh, screw it. Blight Herder's coming down. Uh, yeah, I can't use its ability, so why did you even ask me? Game. Stop being dumb, game. And dude, what the hell did you do that for? Like, Whirler Rogue. You, what? Dude. Alright, this guy doesn't know what the hell's going on. D1, bro. Um, Alright, if I can critique, just politely. Um, the scrying is not helping you out. Get rid of that for something that helps you, like some kind of spell that helps control the board. Um, definitely take out the, the... Oh, maybe you have another another spell? If you, I really hope you have another spell to turn off that Whirler Rogue, because that has to happen. Because I'm smashing in next turn. 
All right. I mean, I guess the game isn't over yet, so I, I really shouldn't be critiquing you. I mean, there's a few plays that I really don't understand that you've done. P and Karen, yeah, you can. All right, that's taking out Warlord Rogue. That has to take out Warlord Rogue. There. Okay. Okay. But I mean, but I, I still got a board though, you know. And you don't really have a lot of power. I would put in more creatures that that shit out Thopters, and more lords. Um, Personally, I don't like Alchemist Vile, but I mean, I know a lot of other people do. Do you have haste? God damn it! <laughs> God damn it! Um, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight damage. So you can kill one of my guys. One of my guys. You're gonna stop the six, seven. Good idea. Good idea. I think I'm only gonna smash in with that. Do I wanna do more? Not really. I like that. That works for me. I wanna keep my other things alive so Vile Aggregate is more of a bitch. <laughs> <clears throat> And if he wants to trade off here, I mean, he has to. He has to at least block. Uh, I feel like a chump would be better. Definitely the O3, in my opinion. Just finish off that damn O3. It's not doing anything for you. Throw it in front of that O4. Scry with it one last time. And then just send it off to the graveyard. And then you can be... Well, see, now those things are flyers. They stop my one-twos. What the hell? What are you going to do now? You're going to lose your PA and Karen? Dude. Yeah. Come on. O3. Just chump block this. Well, you can't not not block. Dude, come on, man. Ugh. Why? Why? Why would... Dude, I mean, come on, man. Come on. I'm really upset at this guy. This guy's really bothering me. Vile Aggregate. What are you gonna do? Counter it? Scry? Twin Bolt? What are you gonna Twin Bolt? That's what you wanted to do? I have a 6 7, dude. You just spent three cards to get rid of one of mine. Well, I guess it's not technically three cards, but those things are chump blockers. You're at, you're at four. I have a trampler now. So what, what's it? Oh, gee, I don't know. I, I really don't like the way this guy's playing. I really hope that he's that he's gonna find an answer right now because this is just a mess. Um, so his. I don't even know how he wants to block. I'm gonna hope that his O3 blocks my six seven. He doesn't have any flyer. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, one of his flyers can stop my one two. So he's taking at least one, and then he can, I guess, chump block my other two guys. And I guess he'll keep his lord up. Oh, okay, that'll keep him. That'll keep him alive one more turn. See, this card is so fucking. It's just a stall card. It's just it cantrips itself to hope that you get something better, which you probably don't. You'd be so much better off with a sigil. You know, because then you can swing in with that 2-2, two -two, or uh, he could have been swinging in with those 2-2s, two and they would have been like 4-4s four or 5-5s five or something way more significant than a shitty little 2-2 two -two that draws you a card. This would have been a totally different game. Alright, especially if I just keep flooding out like this. I can't believe this is still turn 1. This is going taking forever. Holy shit, I really missed my red deck. <laughs> oh my god. Oh wow, this takes a long time. What are you doing now? Oh, right, Alchemist File on my 6-7, of course. Of course. As you should. As you should. How many more of these Alchemist Files are you going to get? You've had three of them, right? Is that your third one? Or is that just two? No, he, yep, three. <laughs> yeah. Three of those, two telling times... One twin bolt. Do I swing in with a 5-6? I don't see why I wouldn't. 
That'll really shit on a lot of his cards. Plus it has trample. Um, you can block with a P and Karen as a chump. And then, well, actually, mm, no. I don't know. I don't know what the best move for him is. Actually, I do know. It, it's it's to chump with that O three. 3 But, God forbid he wants to do that. That is trample. There you go. Oh my god, I can't believe you did it. Wow. Alright. Well, there you go. Holy crap! Do I run Twin Bolt in this deck? I hope I do. Twin Bolt would be pretty good, I think, right? No? Yes. I love Twin Bolt. Twin Bolt's probably one of my favorite cards. <clears throat> and he's really throwing those uh, those things away. Uh, I don't see how you're getting out of this. <laughs> this is such a such a mess. I mean, you know, stranger things have happened. Uh, I'm not playing any of these cards. There's no reason to at all. Stranger things have happened. You want to take out one of my flyers? You can. That's fine. That would shrink my... Uh, I don't know why you didn't do that before. You you dumbass. Oh my god. If You, you could have taken out my thopters with those cards, dude. If he had taken out the thopters with those cards, then his creatures would have lived. Wow. This guy. This guy's plays. I like them very much. Man, I'm really complaining. I shouldn't complain. Alright. <clears throat> so what's been happening to me, to me recently? Let's see. Um, been doing a lot of drafts. Uh... Try to try to go once a week. Uh, got back from Chicago. Chicago was lovely, uh, very cold. We drove the whole way. We did a straight shot from uh, uh, Chicago back to where I live, and that was uh, a long drive. <laughs> how many? How many do I have to do? Put two scions from exile. God, that sucks. Um, tap a creature. I don't have any scions. Do I just smash in? Let's see if he blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm like okay with that. I think. Am I getting greedy? I might be getting greedy here. Probably should not be doing it like this, but I am getting a little greedy. He can take out my Scion and my dude, but that'll wipe his side. Oh no, it won't wipe his side, actually. It will not. Alright, I was... Alright. I probably should... I, I'm probably getting too greedy right now. I'm probably, like, really fucking up because... I'm getting upset. And I shouldn't be swinging in with those Thopters. Probably. What are you doing? Are you destroying the Thopter that's, uh... Okay. Oh, yeah, you're clearing my side. That's nice. Oh, that's super nice. I love seeing that. Alright. Now I'm kind of sad that I swung with those stopters. <laughs> really sad, actually. Um, so that'll be a 3-5 with Trample. This will be a 5-5. Five, five. Yeah, I kind of prefer that. Honestly. Nope. Oh, shit. Did he have things in exile? What? Oh, I just put them in. Oh, I don't have to... Uh. <laughs> uh, I can read cards. Oh, man. And now... Oh, God. I am so dumb. I am so dumb. Uh, I'll just pass turn. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That is so dumb of me. I can't believe it. Wow. Uh, reading cards, man. Reading cards. This game is taking forever. I think I'm only going to do two episode, uh, two games this this episode, because this guy is just taking forever. This game is just stupid. This is just a stupid game. I I know I'm not doing it as well as I can be, also, but I'm getting kind of salty about it. Um, yeah. And then what was the other one? We had a. Uh, that was a 15 hour drive. I, I live in the in the Northeast, uh, uh, Connecticut, lovely New England area. So, from Midwest to Northeast, 15-hour drive, straight shot. It didn't straight shot it on the way over there, 
but on the way over there, we, like, stopped at a hotel or something, and we're like, oh, man, this hotel sucks. It was a shitty one. They had, like, it, it wasn't shitty. They had, like, those old 70s wood paneling and the creaky little beds that vibrated. It was just, like, it was straight out of, like, cartoon, man. You, you wouldn't believe it. It was insane. And, um... I don't know. I was just, I was laughing half the time, honestly. Oh, look who it is. Our favorite fucking card. More useless goddamn garbage. Fantastic. There we go. God, I wish I had more of this card, man. I really do. Uh, who's getting tapped? Definitely the 3-3. Three, three. Definitely... Yeah, I want... Well, no question there. And... The things I want to die should be tapped. I guess I don't really care if that gets tapped. Uh, whatever. And you want to tap that too? Go ahead. Hell yeah, man. Hell yeah, do it. Do it. <laughs> Scry too. Go ahead. Uh, so yeah, little motel run by a tiny little old lady. Like I swear to God, this woman must have been like three foot, three feet tall minimum. Like I can't even guess. Can I just tap his whole field? Um, almost. Holy shit. Uh, tap. Come on. Come on. Tap. <laughs> and swing. There we go. GG, bitch. Tiny little old lady gave us pancakes, I think, or maybe it was waffles. I don't know. Good times. Good, good trip. Very fun. Enjoyed myself. Um, rented a car for it. I don't think either of us, like my wife or I, have a, have a car that's good enough to uh, to make a trip like that. So we got like this sweet little like 2016 Toyota Corolla, and I fucking loved it, man. L listen, I'm used to driving cars from the mid '90s, early '90s. <laughs> You know, some shitty as hell cars. And then we get into this thing that actually has a computer, that actually has Bluetooth, that, like, has all these incredible features. It's like, holy shit, cars are amazing. Rear view cameras, uh, center screen consoles, the things that just tell you the tire pressure, your miles per gallon. I'm just like, I'm just busting all over this thing. I'm just, oh my god. A car that's a pleasure to drive that uh I, I never even think about cars. Cars are just like shitty little things. I don't like this. Uh that I have to like suffer through. Eh, I don't really like this either, but I have plays at least. <clears throat> and then, you know, going in there, grabbing a rental car. Uh it was wonderful. I mean I don't like paying for it. That sucked. But it was it was nice. It was it was a nice experience, man. Also got to drive around in uh, Chicago. Chicago's an uh, interesting little place. Big old Trump Tower made everything smell like hair. But um, I don't know. C comparing Chicago, like the, the the closest city that I'm used to is uh, New York, and I love New York. I love the diversity. I, I know, yeah, it's dirty and it smells like piss, but fuck it. You know what? All good cities do, man. That's just that's the city. You know, you're gonna be in a gigantic sack full of humans. You know, you're going to smell piss. That's just the way it's going to be, man. Millions of piss-soaked human beings, and you're living with them. That's just how it is. Sorry. I know it sucks. Um, all right. Let's get back to the game. What do we got here? We got a first strike. Renown. I hate that guy. That guy really ruins my day, so I'm going to put that down. Because hopefully that will ruin your day. <clears throat> and if I get a land next turn, hopefully, hopefully something that can make blue... I will be much happier. Much happier. Otherwise, I still have Touch of the Void. Oh. Oh my. There's obviously a combat trick in my future. Plus two, plus two, I assume. Titanic Growth. Okay, that's much bigger than two plus two, plus two. <clears throat> Alright. Well, that sucks. I mean, I guess I could have just let that through and just t uh, Touch of the Void did that thing next turn. That would have been such a better play. Holy shit. That would have been so much better. <laughs> oh my god, I'd be—I'm I'm a bad player. 
if he has an aura for this thing, I'm going to really regret it because it's it's not instant speed, so I might as well just deal with it now. I could have done that before. I really should have. I should have just let that thing go through, and then I would have just hit it with Touch of the Void. I mean, I knew that he had a combat trick. He wouldn't, he wouldn't have swung in if he didn't. It was just stupid of me. Just stupid of me. I saw it coming, and I didn't do anything about it. Just dumb. That's that's what I get. All right, I know what I'm playing against. Uh, this guy, a bunch of low cost, hard hitting creatures. Not a big fan. Uh, not a big fan uh, going against it because it's actually a pretty good deck. I don't really have a lot to do right now. Uh, I think I'm taking four. Uh, getting land fucked right now. I really need to hit turn five lands. Turn four actually. I'm not too bad on it. I just need more blue. Do I have Evolving Wilds in this deck? I hope I do. I like Evolving Wilds better than the Guild Gates. I think I've said that many times before. Um, what, what is it? 60% chance that this guy's running different kind of auras? Oh, is that that weird? Oh, no, that isn't the card art. What are we looking at here? Eh, nothing I really care about. Probably there is something I should care about in there, but I, I feel like I'm going to lose this already because he's way ahead of me and I made a pretty critical misplay. All right, I said I was gonna do two, one more game. I think I'll do another game. Oh shit! Oh shit! You didn't get it though, right? Did you get it? I don't think you got it. No, you didn't get it. Hey, vile aggregate, you can actually help me. Holy shit! One five trampler, not bad. Really would like a land. Really would like a land. I mean, he's still smashing in. I can't, like, stop this. Oh, you know what? I should have left a red open. Then he might have thought that I had um, uh, that one mana deal two damage. Spell mastery deal three damage to a creature. I forgot what it's called. I knew he has creatures like that. that that's his whole deck, by the way. Why did he play those pre-combat? Because then I would have been scared that he had, like, a, a combat trick or something. But now I'm not scared that he has a combat trick at all. So... What the fuck? Come on, dude. Get with the program. Land? Land! Not the right land, but a land. A land enough. What's your most expensive creature? That's the one I want to bounce back. Three and one, right? Alright. So, that's what I'm bouncing. I can't. I can't. Why can't I? It costs five. I have five. We can three pay five. How can I not pay five? One, two, three, four, five. Add one to my mana pool. Yeah. What the fuck is happening, guys? What the fuck is going on here? What is happening? One, two, three, four, five. Am I dumb? Am I a dumbass? <laughs> Obviously. But I don't know... Why is that... What? How come I can't? What am I doing wrong? What the hell? Guys, what the hell is going on here? What the fuck? I need to do this. Are you fucking kidding me? Uh, okay. Alright, great. Well, screw it. <laughs> I don't, I don't want to do anything then. Screw the world. Fuck everything. Literally, fuck everything. <laughs> I just rage quit. I will do one more because uh, I rage quit. And I feel that's that's not that's not that's not professional. I'm not professional. I am far from it. I'm just making videos for the internet. <laughs> that's and I mean that in the most dumbass way possible. Literally just mindless let's play is it let's plays? I don't really want to consider this a let's play series. I really don't. Let's play sounds like, you know, we're trying to complete something. This is so open-ended. Like, let's play, I feel, is like for people who are going through a story or a campaign or something, you know, that has a very definite conclusion. This has no conclusion. This just goes on until I die. <laughs> 
<laughs> Probably not that long. Uh, but it could be. I mean, I don't know. People die. You know, I could die. And then you'll just never hear from me again, I guess. Whatever. This is a... I'm not, I'm not against this hand, actually. I kind of really like this. This looks like a good hand to keep. I wish I went first. Oh, God. Not this garbage again. At least this guy's playing black. I like that. All right. Uh, Mist Intruder into Benthic Infl... Actually, no. No. Uh, Nettle Drone. Mist Intruder into Nettle Drone. Because I love me my nettles. It is Nettle, right? So I hear people call it Needle Drone sometimes when I play uh, Paper Magic. And I, and I just, like, cringe a little. I don't want to be that guy, so I don't correct them. I don't say anything. I just, like, when I refer to the card, I say Nettle. And I specifically say Nettle, especially when they say Needle. <laughs> I'm trying not to be a dick about it, but I'm just, like, quietly pushing them in the direction of the way I pronounce things. <laughs> Shouldn't have put that land down first. <laughs> oh, wow, really? <laughs> you really, really don't want to get ingested. Okay. <laughs> man, that guy was terrified of ingestion. That's one damage and one card, man. Look, do not be concerned with ingest, dude. Seriously. Well, gee, I wonder which card I'm getting rid of. I hope this guy's breathing a sigh of relief right now, now that he saw that card, you know, hit hit the, hit the deck. <laughs> he was so afraid of it, man. Holy shit, it's just so goofy. Ooh, all right, I'm in a dilemma now. Well, look, first things first, I'm swinging in for three. Like, there's no stopping that. Uh, I want to drop Whirler Rogue, but... Ah, fuck it, I'm going to drop Whirler Rogue. Screw it, I don't care. I don't even care. What am I going to do? Hit him for one more? Fine. Screw it. Whirler Rogue puts down more damage than uh, Sky Spawner, so that's just what I'm going to do. It was between Whirler Rogue and Sky Spawner, and Sky Spawner would untap my guy and he'd deal one more damage, but Whirler Rogue puts another damage on the field, so... It was kind of weird, a little bit awkward, wasn't really sure where I wanted to go with that, but screw it. That's how I feel. That's how I feel. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. <laughs> I'm liking this. I'm liking this. Alright. Swing-a-ding-ding. -ding. Thanks for the thing. And... I mean, I have a board, but fuck it. Fuck it! Uh, no reason to do that. I can wait, oh baby. Oh, I can wait. Uh, I don't know which one I want more. Either the Benthic Infiltrator or the Sky Spawner. I, you know what? As I say it, I, I definitely want the Sky Spawner first. Definitely want the Sky Spawner. Of course, this guy's getting smacked real hard right now. Mm, boy, oh boy. Let's go to combat. in. I guess I could just tap those guys and then swing in with a Nettle Drone. An, an unblockable Nettle Drone. That might be a better move. Maybe. Do I, do I get do more damage? I think I do more damage that way. Ooh, I think I do one more damage that way. Damn. Oh well. Man, this guy's taking damage. Alright, so he's essentially at 7 right now. <clears throat> and I got a fat little field that I'm pretty happy with. Uh, Languish would not be my favorite day. Languish would be very bad. Pretty bad. Uh, that's, that's a card that does kind of scare me. But uh, that's also two damage to his face. So... <laughs> uh, I mean, I could just chump. I, I don't care. Holy crap, five damage. You just died, though, didn't you? Are you just dead on board now? I think you're just dead on board, dude. You shouldn't have played that. Because you're taking two damage. I only need to do five damage to you right now, and I totally can. Dude, I, I totally can. 
Alright, let's use this guy's ability instead, because that makes more sense. It does more damage overall. Oh boy. Peeps not knowing how to play. What do we do, guys? What do we do? Like, did you think I don't have play or something? Like, that's game. That's just game. I don't know why he did that. I guess he wasn't technically dead on board, but... I mean, he should have expected me to have colorless creature. Like, I had two nettle drones in my pocket, you know? Like, what, what do you think was gonna happen, man? Did he just want a 5-5 five, five flyer out there? Maybe. Maybe that's just what he was looking for. I don't know. I feel like that was a silly play. Whatever! <clears throat> Oops, I didn't want to see the board again. I, I saw the board. Done! Come on, come on, let's go. Alright, guys, that'll do it for this episode. Um, will I make another episode after this? Yeah! Screw it, I guess I will. Hey! Guess what? I only have nine more ranks before I'm uh, 30. I did do a little bit of grinding uh, off camera, a little bit to try to to try to. That's where I got these uh, things up here, the the coins, because uh, I really want to. I really, I, I'm so late on, uh, on unlocking all the cards. But you know what? Just the the fucking developers are late on everything, so I feel like I'm on par. Okay, guys, uh, that'll do it for the episode. See you next time. Uh, we will talk about bullshit, or at least I'll talk about bullshit. You may or may not listen. Actually, no, we will talk about it, because if you have something to say, you will leave it in the comments, and I almost always respond. I think I've only missed, like, one or two uh, people's comments, and, and, I mean, I could go back and respond to them now, but they're, like, months old, and I'm just like, oh, God, how awkward it would be. But then, I, then again, I could, if I did do that, I would be able to say that I respond to every single one of the comments, and I guess that's a badge of honor that I missed before. See you guys later. We'll